All right, guys, so back at it again with the go-kart, and we figured out what the style body we're going to go with, but first, uh, you saw last video, it ran and drove. It actually drives pretty good. Uh, I would say probably the best so far that we got. The body style that we are going to do, we're going to, because we're going to go back to Street Outlaws, no prep king, we've decided that why not build dark roast that's farm trucks and asians black cadillac we decided that because when we were there last time their mechanic ed actually told me and mikey that we should try it so we figured we'll give it a shot you know do our best so we are doing dark roast we're going to call it espresso and hopefully we can make this as awesome as dark roast is for those who are uh, fans of Farm Truck and Asian, you probably know that Dark Roast has a blower. We are going to do the blower, well, because it's awesome. But we were trying to figure out a way to do it and do it, make it look right. And uh, the other day, me and Mikey came across this at work, and uh, we're going to use this old valve cover. It uh, came off of a Falcon. Um, we figured what we'll do is we'll probably cut it in half. Probably have to widen it a bit. But the reason why we went with this valve cover is because on the side of the blower there's like these like like bumps or whatever and i figured these have them i know they're not going to look exactly like it but it gives it that look they were just going to throw this away at work we work at a uh, we're helping a buddy out at a uh his uh scrap yard or junkyard whatever you want to call it and uh we were going through the inventory they were going to just scrap this so I figured instead of it being scrapped, I recycle it. So I cut it all up. As you can see, it's no longer one long piece. Uh, and we cut this edge off as well. So now the piece could be folded in half. So now it's a little wider. So now what we're gonna do is, well, I'm gonna grab an angle grinder, clean up this metal, weld them together like this, and then we're gonna have to make a plate for the front. But uh, I looked up a picture. I believe the front is more flat, so uh, that's why we're gonna do a front plate uh, but as of right now I just got to get uh, the sanding disc weld this together and uh, finish detailing all right guys so uh, we've been working on the blower and the scoop uh, we uh, so I welded the two ends of the valve covers together I just got to clean up the welds and you know get that all situated and then we found this uh, metal it was a flat piece of metal it was pretty big and uh, we cut up a piece and you know shaped it so now this will sit here and we found out that my phone the width of my phone is going to be the width that we do it gives it that you know a little lift so now all we have to do is we got to make the front piece of the blower and the like the three circles and the back piece mount it all together and our plan is is so if you look at dark roast the hood uh they have it where the engine pops out and it has a bunch of like like it looks like it ripped through we'll take some like metal like this like some spare metal from this piece and we'll kind of cut out a piece so then we'll just weld it onto this itself so this will all be one piece All right, guys, so as you saw, I bent my last piece, and uh, this will be part of the hood as well, uh, and then the blower would sit on top of this, like so, so it's going to go uh, engine, this little spacer piece with all the shreds, this is how it looks, and uh, then the hood, and we got to... We, the reason why I did this 
is one to make it easier to paint everything uh, because if it was all welded on getting underneath is going to be kind of difficult so I figured we could paint this separate then paint this separate and then it'll just all go on got the hood on got the blower on and we did all this stuff and um, so we started on the fenders we got those measured kind of how we want them so we got the fenders out you know so and then another thing we did was we got this wagon here cut out the corners of them so these used to sit here cut out the corners of them kind of gave it a little bow and uh I just want to say thank you, Nate, for the wagon. So that's going to go about where the headlights would be, which is somewhere in this area. But that's where we're at so far. All right, guys, been working. Uh, as you see, it's dark out, so I got this light here. Uh, but we did a lot of work today. We got, uh, as you see, most of the front end done, the fenders done. This is going to be the top of the door. So we got angle iron, well, bed frame right here to give the drop. This is where we're at. And the back piece we got cut and it you know we got it to fit perfect here and it is going to end here so from here back up it's going to be a a low and long and wide because as you see it's going to be a wide goat cart but it's going to be you know pretty decent all right guys so we're working on the goat cart yet again uh, so, so far what we did was we added this bracket here so we have everything sturdy, not wobbling around. Uh, and also we needed it to kick out the front a bit because before they were angling in like this. So we did that to kick it out. We're going to have to do that with the back end, but we're not there yet. We're focusing on the front. So what I did was I cut out more pieces of wagon. Uh, this is actually going to be for like the bumper. So with this one, I'll show you how it's going to be. As you see, we got it cut out, and then there's a curve here because it's going to sit like so, and it follows the curve of the fender. So that's how we did that. So we got the door pieces already. So we just figured we'd do the front end some and then kind of work our way back. I'm going to weld these on, and then once I'm done, I'll show you how they look. Alright guys, so we did a lot more work, kind of started getting ahead of myself, so I wanted to show you guys where I'm at. So we took the wagon, as you see, cut it up more, and made the pointy part of the bumper. I'm going to call it the pointy part because it kind of comes to a point. And then what we did is take more of this cabinet here and welded in the front piece and then the piece that comes back for the hood. So the hood's pretty much almost all done. Bumper's almost all done. Now we're going to start, uh, well, we got to cut this. So we'll cut this, but right now we're going to probably start on the teeth because uh, we want to try to get a lot of the front end done and the teeth is going to take some time because cutting this isn't going to take long. So um, we're going to start working on the teeth, I guess. So I'm going to become a dentist for a second and get this all figured out.
All right, guys. So what we're doing right now is uh, we we measured the length. Never really paid attention to the width because our back tires do sit out a little more. So what we did is we got this piece of conduit here, cut it in half, and that's going to help us bring it out a bit, and it's going to give us a little bit of curved uh, edge. So that's going to help clear the tires a bit, and. Uh, so I'm just gonna get welding. As you see, I did some already, so I'm gonna continue. All right guys, so we're here at the junkyard and uh, we're low on metal. So we're gonna take the side of this van here and uh, see if this is enough metal to finish the project. All right guys, so there's our piece. Hopefully that's enough uh, for the rest of the go-kart. Uh, I'll catch you back at home. All right, guys. So here where we're, this is where we're at right now. Uh, as you see, there's still a lot of work to do i just figured uh, i wanted to show you what i did for the uh, body mounts i got four pieces of pipe i got one on the back and it on the back of the frame and it comes out to this piece of conduit here and then i got one in the front that does the same up there and these two there these two are more to push it out so we have room so we're not you know rubbing anything so we got room around the tires and stuff so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, take it down the street uh, check all the make sure all the welds and all the uh, body mounts stay together but so far this is where we're at and uh, I'll take it down the street right now We got it down and the mounts work great. Um, the reason it bounces a bit, I don't know if you're able to sell, tell or not, is when we bought this, there was a little bent in the, it was a little bent in the frame, or not the frame, the axle, and uh, we kept it like that uh, because we didn't have much, we don't have much time. So next step is to add the fans, uh, do some more body work, uh, bumper and other fine detailings and touch-ups. But other than that, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed your cruise down Delashment Road.